The Day of the Earth Caught Fire is put out by Kino Lorber and is one I bought off a buddy when he was selling some of his stuff. This is a film I never really heard about before, but the cover artwork really piqued my interest, and he was selling it at a good price point, so thanks, my guy. The film follows Peter Stinning, a somewhat washed up alcoholic journalist, when the US and Russia exploded nuclear bombs. When days after the event, the weather and climate begin to drastically change around the globe, the newspaper puts Peter on the job to investigate the story. Along the way, he falls for a phone receptionist of a scientist. Through their relationship, she reveals a conversation she overheard about the Earth being moved on its axis by 11 degrees and changing its orbit heading toward the sun. From there, water begins to disappear and rations begin to be given out as the Earth heats up. With little time to spare, it's a desperate hope to find a solution to the problem. The film follows Peter and the news crew along with Janie, a phone receptionist love interest, through a rather bleak and hopeless feeling narrative that ripples the caution of nuclear weaponry and climate change. I really enjoyed this one. It's pretty fast paced and for a film out of the early 60s, some of the special effects are really cool. I really like some of the weather effects they used and they weren't afraid to smash up some sets either. Edward Judd does a great job in the lead, but a lot of the other performances can be really stiff or overplayed. Personally, I didn't really like Janet Marino's performance as Janie, as it felt a little too overplayed. The film looks great. The cinematography is rather standard fanfare for a film of this time, but the transfer from Kino looks outstanding. There's even a couple scenes that might have been too hard to repair, and it's not as sharp and can have some heavy green, but weirdly enough, it feels like it fits the tone of the film pretty well. I also love the choice to use different film stock once the earth caught fire, switching from standard black and white to a sepia style stock that looked great as an aesthetic. The pacing of the film though is rock solid throughout. As the first two acts of the film you're discovering the mystery of what's happening around the world with the main character, all while the film develops character relationships. Peter gets a lot of development as the lead, you're constantly rooting for him despite his flaws. The world and characters feel real and lived in, rather than just characters despite some lacking performances. And once you build to that final act, the film almost feels like it slows down some to prolong that inevitable that really worked for me. The set designs look great and I loved how wild some of the film got in regards to the looting aspect of the end times. I really wasn't expecting it. Characters almost always look hot and sweaty once the world starts to heat up and it feels like there's some real attention to detail when it comes to the environment the film is set in. The themes of nukes destroying the world and us not doing anything about climate before it's too late is sadly still relevant over 60 years later. For some reason though, according to the IMDb trivia, the film received an X rating from the British Board of Film Censors, which I just find to be hilarious. This was one I went into with really no expectations, but really enjoyed it and definitely would recommend it. And I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10.